Wow. This is good lighting. Hey guys. So I'm in somebody's parking lot as usual. <laughs> But, um, <clears throat> I'm constantly sick, constantly sick. So, there is a, um, there's a show called, um, Salt, what's the name of the show? I have it on my Instagram. It's called, hmm, oh, yeah, there's a show called Salt Burn right now. It's taking the internet by storm. This is the, uh, can you guys see it? <clears throat> can you see it? <clears throat> I can't go run anybody with this cold. This cold is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But the show is called Saltburn. And I was told to watch this show. So what did I do? I, of course, watched the show. Rave reviews, right? Let me tell you something. Sick and Twisted? Guys, sick and twisted. You hearing me? But this show is sick and twisted. So I was, um, <clears throat> when I started to watch the show, I was like, what is this about? Some people aren't going to like the show because it has some kind of, you know, things that you might not like. But whatever. I watched it and I was blown away. I sat there. When I tell you, it's been a while since I watched the movie. And <clears throat> literally, my mouth dropped like dropped and i know a lot of people might not like it it might not be your taste but when it comes to movies and songs i'm all across the spectrum i don't like to stick to a specific genre i'm all about watching all of them listening to all of them right it was amazing the guy is so twisted and the movie is so sadistic and sick there are some scenes in there Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. So, skip right here. You're going to skip like a good three minutes. You're going to be <laughs> explaining this movie. So, skip three minutes if you don't want to see it. Do what you got to do because I'm about to tell you right now. So, the movie's about this man, right? He went to college and he saw this other guy. He took a liking to the other guy. So, we think, bruh, took a liking to the other guy. Right? And then he was like, the other guy was like, oh, my bike stopped working one day. And he was like, oh, yeah, you can use my bike. You know, and the guy was like, oh, sure, really? Cool, thanks so much, man. <laughs> Took the bike. And then he was like, hey, can you bring my bike to campus? The guy was like, yeah, sure, I'll bring it back to campus. And he took his bike, brought it back to campus. Anyway, I tried to get a better angle. So the guy was like, okay, you can bring my bike to campus. He brought the bike back to campus, right? The guy was saw him next time in a bar and he was, the guy was like, hey, Ollie. And he was like, oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> and they became friends like that. Felix was like, hey, Ollie. They became friends like that, right? Felix was really nice um, compared to his friends and stuff like that. His friends were like ASS, you know. Yeah, they weren't nice people, but Felix was really like chill. Anyway, so... He was telling Felix all, all the sad stories of his life. All this great sad stuff and whatever happened in his life. So Felix was like, really? Oh, that's so sad for him. Felix is a rich guy. He's popular. He has everything going for him. And him just start telling Felix now. Oliver start telling Felix how his life is sad. All these bad things happening for him. He's like, okay. Felix get all the girls in school. Felix get all the girls in school. All the girls, all the men, everybody in between. What? Him. He is wanted. What's the man's name who acts as Felix? What's his name? Let me find him. So, yes, I found him. The guy who acts as Felix is Jacob Ellery. This is him. Can you guys see him? He's the guy in um To All the Boys I Loved Before. So, anyway, moving on from that. The guy was like, um, you know, uh, you could come home and stay with me because he's telling him how, you know, his parents are addicts. If one is not an addict, the next one wants to kill himself. Some crap he's telling Felix. And Felix's like, okay, you know what? I have a good family. You could come home with me. He's like, really? Word? Mm -hmm. Took him home to his family. And that's, let me tell you something. That's what a lot of people do. They have nice families and stuff going on for them. And they'll be like, hey, you can come home with my family. You know, it's cool. You can chill with me. People will do stuff like that. It's just natural. Anyway, fine. 
went home and he went to the place that he went. It's called Saltburn. So when he got to Saltburn now, brother, butler greet my man at the door. I got to take my hair from the back, put it to the front. Butler greet him at the door. So when he saw that, he was like, word? You know, he went inside and but, um, Felix ran across the... Um, Decided. He's like, Ole! You know, just welcoming Oliver into his life. Like, you could come in anytime, do your thing. Like, it's all cool. And Oliver was there like, oh, Felix and huh. But, um, I'm getting straight. I'm straying away from my point. But I'm just telling you, like, I don't want to spend so much time on this. But I have to spend the time just to tell you guys. When he got in there, I'm going to go fast now. So, keep up. When he got into the house, he notices, um, Felix's sister um, Venetia, Venetia or Valicia, whatever her name is. And he took a liking to her. And to be honest, it wasn't really a liking. Now that I know what I know, it's not a liking. He was just using her. So he took a liking to her. Um, one night, there's so much happening between that, but one night, let me tell you this. This boy saw her down below his window. And she was like in like a see-through nighty. Her titties were showing everything. And he's like, uh, he went down there. He's like, you want, why are you, why are you here? You know, why are you down below? You know, <laughs> She was like, I'm just walking and doing whatever. Whatever she said. Stupid girl. Anyway, she was talking to him. He was talking to her. And then he started to come around and tell her things she's supposed to do. And she said, yes, yes, she's going to do it. You know, whatever he says, she's going to do it. Like, she's an idiot. And then he bent down to her and he started to her. She's like, no, Ollie, you can't do it. It's that time of the month. He's like, it doesn't matter. I'm a vampire. Do you hear me? He said, it doesn't matter. I'm a vampire. Do you know what that means? He's running the red light. And he started to run the red light with his hands. Then he took it and put it in her face. And put it in her mouth. And then put it in his mouth. And put it in his face. Oh, my mouth dropped. I was, I, I went... I'm not lying. My mouth hit the floor. Somebody was telling me when I watched the show, my mouth hit the floor multiple times. It did. It did. So, okay. Okay, because I'm going off. I'm going off. So, hold on. Then, he went down. With his face. Let me tell you what you see. The next scene, cut to him in the bathtub, blood running all over his face. I said, what? What is this? Feel like I'm in a red light district. Uh, <laughs> listen to me. Then, after that, that's one sick thing he did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before that, Felix went to take a bath, right? When Felix went to take the bath, why did Felix, Felix was in there, you know, doing his thing. You know what I mean? Why was Ollie through the window, like, through the little door jam, spying on Felix, thinking about girls and stuff in his head, and, and Ollie was watching him in the window jam while he was in the tub? Why did Felix pop, right? Felix pop and got out the bathtub. Ollie went in the bathtub and licked it up with his tongue. I said, what? <laughs> Ollie licked it up with his tongue and then you know the hole of the bathtub he licked it off why am i not telling a lie right now this is the truth of the matter this is the story then let me tell you again next thing because those are two shocking things my mouth fell to the ground pick it up and i fell back again i was in shock i could not believe it shock Anyway, I'm going to get to the end of this because there's so much that happened in this story that was just crazy. But he, he was obsessed, like, with Felix. He was obsessed. You know what I mean? Like, he wanted to be Felix. He wanted to live in Felix's skin. And let me tell you something what he did. Let me just tell you. Felix died. I'm not going to tell you how he died, but he died. Go watch the show. Go watch the show. These actors deserve every award they're about to get. Okay, they should get the awards and they deserve every award they're about to get. But hold on. Felix died, right? Why when Felix died, Ollie went to his graveside 
took his clothes off, opened his zipper, pulled his thing out, and the graveside! Ah! Are you hearing me? The graveside. He and he was crying. He was crying at the graveside. Father Nipo, Father, let me tell you this. I'm in shock. I'm in shock when he did that. My mouth fell to the ground again. And I, like an idiot, was crying with him when he was crying. Because initially he was just crying and I was crying too. I was like, oh my God. And then he started to take his clothes off. I'm like, oh, Ollie, don't. And then, oh, Ollie, don't. Oh, Ollie, 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 Ollie. What are you doing? Ollie started to get down in it. They asked Ollie to leave. Cut two. The sister died. Venetia died as well. Not before she cussed off Ollie though because of things he was doing that she was like, what is wrong with you? Anyway, it's just a whole thing, but the show is everything. It's everything. Now, I have to reapply my lip gloss because I chat it off telling you guys about this show. But when I say this show is amazing, the show is amazing. And let me tell you this too. I watched the show for the plot. What was the plot? Jacob Ellery. <laughs> is that how you pronounce his name? <laughs> That's why I watched the show. That's why they say you got to get good actors in your stuff, man. So people want to watch your stuff. But listen, that's the only reason I was watching it. Just for him. Child, I'm not about to lie to these people. Talking about I watched it for something else. The light battery is dying. Yeah, so that's why anyway guys so go watch salt burn let me know what you guys think it's it's probably gonna be like something traumatic like a lot of people who watch it are gonna find it to be really traumatic like and it's it's really about like be careful you can't just be out here trusting people 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 you could have do the world for them people betray like dog <laughs> Like I'm in a red light district. Might have to go to another Dollar Tree or somewhere else, maybe Walmart. I'm not sure. Because I forgot to look for stuff over the other Walmart that I was a while ago. I totally forgot to look for stuff that I would need for my vision board. But yeah, probably another Dollar Tree and then I need to go to a store to get a magazine so I can cut some stuff out. But yeah, that's basically it. Oh, they have some blank canvases here and then they have some with um like stuff on it. But I find so cute. Look. All right, I have to go to another store. It's not here. Sorry, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, oh. Me jump in my car. Yeah. I never knew the loving of a man, but it sure felt good when he was holding my hand. There's a boy here in town said he'd love me forever. Who would have known forever would be severed by a sharp knife of a short life. That song just kills me every time. It's well. Mm. That's a sad song. It's a really sad song. Anyway, guys, remember what I told you? Go watch Saltburn. But if you're not into stuff like Saltburn, because that's a dark show, like mentally twisted. If you're not into something like that, 
go watch the summer turn pretty and if you're not into that you can always watch bridgetown everybody knows about bridgetown but if you're not into that there is a show on hulu called fleabag <laughs> go watch fleabag and if you're not into that, I have so many other shows I can give to you. Just ask and trust me, I will come with them. I'll come with them. Trust me. And they're all hits. Bangers after bangers after bangers. Joe Pickett, I never, like, I don't tell people what stupid shows. If I know the type of movie you like, I'm, I'm getting it right all the time. Let me tell you, all the time, everybody call me. Shows. No problem. Oh, this is... Oh my light, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was so nice of him. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was so sweet of him. Guys, why am I driving without light on? Ah, oh, this man have to be like, stop, stop, your light. <laughs> Guys, I know it's a few of us here. It's a few of you who watch my stuff, but next year this time when there are a ton of people here. I'm gonna try and do a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers because for all the people here, thank you. And um, yeah, you know, when it reach, when it gets to a lot more, I don't want to be like, oh, who was here from the beginning? I want to know. So I'm gonna go through and do what I gotta do to make sure I can, you know, have some understanding of what's going on. Anyway, it's getting dark. Uh, my light is dead. So I'll see you guys soon, okay? Give me a minute or two. If I stop at the next door, I'll let you know. Hey! All right, later guys, I hope you like the little haul that I got. I'm gonna order so many other things because I love this place that I'm buying stuff from right now. Anyway guys, blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Peace. I was on a call so I had to do a voiceover. <laughs> but I hope you guys like these. They're amazing. If you can get it, get it. I think the material is so super thick and stretchy and nice. I wouldn't lie about this. And the reason, like, look guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm such a twit. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, blessed assurance, Esos is mine. See you guys soon. Later. <laughs> you guys will see me in these pieces in the gym. But I'm going to buy like two more of this because I want one like set to wear inside and the other to wear like, well, to wear to the gym and the other to wear like when I'm going out with my little bomber jacket top. Oh, cute. <laughs> and you know girl a too fat in the back but love it love it <laughs> bye guys